you ever had those moments where it becomes painfully obvious that you see something completely different than somebody else sees it? Like your points of view could not be farther apart in the way you're approaching things from your perspective, whatever it might be. And it's also painfully obvious that they are seeing it much better than you are and they have a much better grasp on the reality of the situation. That just happened to me. That's what we're going to talk about. So here's what happened. I've been helping this client renegotiate a contract and because of some things that one of the other vendors had said, we believe that we're gonna come in at about the same price we had last year, maybe even a little less. When we met with the vendor today, the, the one we selected, price came out and is about 20% higher than last year. And I got really hung up on this. I, had, I was so disappointed the price was going up. He said, it's really not that much. The old contract was like 1% of sales the new one is like less than 1.2%. And we can get that back with a pricing change. We'll get that back in more with a pricing change. We're due for a pricing change anyway. It's, it's really not that big of a deal. And then he went on to talk about some of these opportunities with really big prospects that we had missed out on in the last year or two because of the old contract and its terms. So what's the lesson? The lesson is don't get hung up on your emotions. Emotions are really good things. They help us evaluate things, make decisions, perceive situations much better than facts can on our own. But when we get hijacked by our emotions, we start to get pulled away from the real perception of reality. One of the things that I pride myself on is being able to think strategically, look at things from different angles and different perspectives and get a really good understanding of what's really happening. But in this case, I had gotten completely myopic. I had this tunnel vision because I was locked in on nothing but a dollar value increase in the cost of the contract. My client had a much better perspective because he was seeing the whole of, of what was going on, the real cost and perspective and the opportunities that were gonna be made available because of the new contract. If you're thinking about anything important, it's good to know which emotions you're prone to. One of the ones I'm prone to is disappointment. I, I expect things, I like to plan, I'm a planner, so I have a, an expectation that things are gonna go a certain way, and when they don't, I tend to get disappointed. So recognizing that, when I'm thinking about anything important or helping a client with anything important, I need to key in on that and say, am I letting my disappointment get the better of me and letting it cloud my view of what's really happening here? Getting in touch with your emotions is good, not only for relationships, but understanding how they work in decision-making as a business owner is really, really valuable. I'll see you guys tomorrow.